your brain's performance important to you? What if your brain is not functioning as well as it could? A few years ago, I did a story on a trial study that uses light therapy to help patients with Alzheimer's disease. Now the same Toronto-based company and same sort of therapy is being used in a trial study for COVID-19. It's called COVID Light by V Light Inc. And here's how it works. It has two components. Uh, there's this component that has a, um, a light illuminator here, and that goes over your chest, over the upper part of your breastbone, it's called the manubrium. And then there's another component to this thing. And this is, this is another illuminator here, and it goes in your nose. When you shine near infrared light on the manubrium, what happens is it releases stem cells, particularly the lymphoid type of stem cells, which are important in infection fighting. This light therapy is supposed to stimulate the thymus gland, which is located under the sternum. It increases natural killer cells, acts as an anti-inflammatory therapy, and increases cellular energy. In easier terms? It supports your immune system, and the goal is to hopefully speed up recovery of patients that uh, are COVID-infected and uh, keep them from ending up in the hospital. Dr. Roy Tingley from Liverpool, Nova Scotia says he has been using light therapy in a Lyme disease trial and now he's part of the COVID light team. The team says this is not a replacement for a vaccine, but a form of alternative medicine. But this is an alternative uh, uh, like medical device that on top of that, if if God forbid somebody actually catches the, the virus, uh, they could actually boost their system and they could actually get out of it easier. Right now, there are other light therapies happening around the world. This particular study is Health Canada approved and started in mid-September. They have 11 participants so far, but are hoping to get a total of 280 COVID positive patients to participate. From that number, 140 people would receive the device and the remainder wouldn't. Here's the criteria. You must be COVID positive, symptomatic and not sick enough to be hospitalized. The way we are analyzing is uh, we have this validated questionnaire that would ask a comprehensive uh, list of all the symptoms they had. The study pe uh, period is 30 days for each person who is into this study and then at the end of it um, we will collect all this data and then uh, do the analysis. Researchers say they need participants to come forward within 10 days of their first symptom, which has been quite tricky. To find out more information about this trial study, you can go to our website citynews.ca under extras. For City News, I'm Stella Quisto.